that is 54, right? Yeah. Episode 54 of the Sunday walk slash ride this week. Uh, on the way back from my grandma's house, for met up with her, my mom, my dad, my sister, for Mother's Day. Got maybe in the back. Got maybe in the back. She's sleeping now. She's pretty good. Yeah. She started off bad because my dad hadn't slept in a while and he had like a busted blood vessel in his eye or something, so his eye was red and she was freaking out. But stranger danger. Yeah, it was very much stranger danger. And he just gets into her face a lot, so. Yeah, I just want to like immediately pick Okay, you ready for the Snapple trivia? Let's hear it. That I was, I think it's just the strangest trivia thing ever. It's not even trivia, it's just knowledge. Yeah, maybe, maybe you've heard of it. It's just second, I got these. Let me get, let me take one guess at what it is. Okay. And the number of condoms that they give out in a no. little village. Um, no, I didn't know that answer. It's like 500,000 or like something crazy, right? <laughs> you, I don't know, you're about to say 5 million and I know it's not 5 million. It's like 500,000. It might be 500,000. I mean, what do they expect? They got new Snapple bottles and it's the, the lettering is just hard to read. So when we're shaking, the number of times a cricket chirps in 15 seconds plus 37 will give you the current temperature. <laughs> I told you. I told you it was the weirdest fucking trivia thing I've ever heard. The number of times a cricket chirps in 15 seconds plus 37 plus 37 will give you the current air temperature. Which I feel like I've heard of before now that I'm thinking of it. I've never heard I want to know who the hell did that study. I'm sure somebody. Ornith are they called ornithologists? Maybe study is insects? I have absolutely no idea. I'm pretty sure. It still, still tastes like Snapple. On to this week. Sarah is a runaway pet magnet. I am. You're right. I am. She I had a little her. labradoodle. A young one. I think he's probably Oh, he was six. He was six? He was six. Wow, naughty boy. Yeah. A labradoodle. Just came walking right up to the side door and sat there on the porch like he was ready to come inside after his walk. Yeah. So Sarah had to put him in the garage. Put some, she can get some turkey and some bread and some water. No collar, no tags. No tags, no collar. Turns out, after a couple hours, we found the owner and he busted out of his collar chasing after a bunny. Just a road away, but he's a road away. But that's two now. Cat and a dog. Cat and a dog. Remember what the, the cat's name was? It was something weird, right? Ooh, it had a really weird name. That was the one eyed cat. Yeah, the one eyed cat. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, the first episode of Bad Batch came out on the 4th. Second one came out on Friday. Yeah, we haven't watched the second one yet. The first one is really good, and even Sarah said it was really good. Yeah, I liked it. It's about like this bad batch of phone troopers that um, they have like different wiring, and like something's weird, so they don't under they don't like hear the execute order sixty six, or it doesn't like work for them. So then they're just like normal clone troopers, like old clone troopers in the new clone trooper era with the with the new empire. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. At the moment, they still kind of, I think they kind of have turned from the Empire this point at the end of the first episode. They met some. But yeah, they meet. Rebellion yeah, the, the beginning of the rebellion. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely gonna be good. I mean, it, it was always gonna be good because I mean the Clone Wars was great, so it was always gonna be good. I like that they're longer though. Yeah, I don't know if they're all longer. Since the first episode was. The first episode was like an hour and ten minutes. I don't know if they're all gonna be that long. The season finale of Curse of Oak Island was on. What did you think? The season finales are always kind of boring. They're just like recapping and then like figuring out what they're going to do the next time. However, the like, season hmm, overall... What are we going to do with our shit tons of money? Overall, they're going to dig a big hole. They are going to dig a big hole because they're at bottom C1, they tested the water and there was enough silver in there, in the water, for the geologist to say that it would have taken like a room full of silver to put that much silver into the water for it to degrade that much into the water. And they've already seen gold flex down C1 and it, they're gonna find treasure next year. It might not be like treasure, but it's gonna be gold and silver. They're gonna find something next year. And, you know, the only reason they didn't dig a huge hole is because of COVID. And by through that, they found a bunch of stuff in the swamp, which I think kind of made it this like 
probably the best season, right? I think it's I thought a this was one of the best seasons. Season. You know, it was, a bit, it was a very good season. I think so. I liked, I liked the Definitely. Long picking for sure. I think that they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have done that, but it, they would have missed an opportunity. Uh huh. For sure. Yeah. Wrath of Man came out on Friday. The new Guy Ritchie movie. We did not see it. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. it on HBO? Probably. Probably. Is it Warner Brothers? Might be only movie theaters. Maybe we'll have to go to the movie theaters. I haven't even watched the trailer. Bugatti came out with a pool table. Did you see that anywhere? No. So okay, so Bugatti has this pool table that is three hundred thousand dollars. It is made for yachts, like super yachts, and it has the legs have like an auto leveling system to keep the pool level, pool table completely level or completely parallel. Of course. Yeah, nice completely parallel. To the water so that the balls don't move with the waves and stuff. Oh my god. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's really cool, but $300,000? What else do we It says, it, I wrote down, its legs auto stabilize in five milliseconds. Wow. Five mil, every five milliseconds, it auto stabilizes the legs. Down. You know, they could use that for like surgeons when they're <laughs> on an evil ship or something, but no, let's just use it for pool tables. I don't know, it's kind of dumb. I'm sure they're transitioning to that. You gotta put something cool out there to be like, then the surgeons are like, oh shit, we can use that. And they're like, oh, military contract, $25 billion, and then boom. Probably, yeah. Probably <laughs> I mean, not like Bugatti really needs the money more than that. Maybe, just needs it. No. Green beans were a hit, and so were sweet potatoes. With this maybe girl. With this maybe girl. Definitely a fan of green beans. She even has sweet potato, we cut them into like little two finger chunks. They're smaller than that, really. Like a finger and a half chunks. And she just gnaws on them. I don't know. She doesn't love... I don't know if she even eats them, really. She might get some pulpy in here or something. Getting the day, she's learning how to, like, grab food. It's all good. We're learning the skill, okay? We're, that's what we're building on. We're learning the skills and getting the job muscles working. JCPenney's photo shoot yesterday was a complete failure on all, on all fronts. Including the morons that work at J.C. Penney's Photo Center. Oh, sat her no. down. Mall. She cried. If I knew, if I remembered her name, I would call her out. Grand Rapids Woodland Mall, J.C. Penney's Photo Center, trash. Especially, I mean, we sat Maeve down. She's a six-month-old. We sit her down. She starts crying. The, the the photographer chick was immediately just like, "Oh, let's just reschedule." You know, not even really trying to do anything, you know, not even really accommodating or like trying to find ways to calm her down. She had some techniques that were dog shit. You can tell she's not a parent or even a knee, an aunt or I don't know, anything. Yeah. So we went back to her house and Sarah, her mom, and her sister took some photos. We and they turned own, out great. Yeah, we set up our own backdrop with just a blanket and a box. Cardboard box and a couple different blankets. Put her in some prop stuff and took some pictures. They look great. I think they look better than you know. I mean, iPhone twelves have very, very, very solid cameras. So you just have to put it into like the portrait mode. But yeah, yeah, put it in portrait mode and bada boom, change the lighting. You can do anything. It's just great. I fuck with JC Penney's. Who even knows how they're in business to? That was yesterday. Today? No. Yeah, that was yesterday. Wow, yesterday was a long day. It was. Yesterday night, Samantha came over and babysat May, but we went out on a little date night. We went to Matchbox Diner and had some food, which was good, as always. And then we went to um, Higher Grounds uh, Rock Climbing Center in uh, North Grand Rapids. And it I didn't have any, I don't even know what my expectations were, but it exceeded all of my expectations. Not in like the quality of the gym, but just the quality of service that we had. I wish I knew the guy's name. I know. You know, May 8th, 8 p.m., he was there, only him, and he was spectacular. I think his name was Paul. The guy that left, I swear, the guy that left said, hey, thanks, the name. Like, I thought it was Paul, I don't remember. But, I mean, we n we never really belayed, so there was a, he taught us how to belay, taught us how to link into the rope, 
showed us around, talked about the equipment. You know, he was just like super knowledgeable, super friendly. You know, very very patient. Not judgmental. No judgment. Super laid back, super chill, and I could not have asked for a better experience from the first time going there. Yeah, he was great. And luckily for us, there wasn't that many people there. Yeah. You know, there's and only now, one other couple there. Yeah. Now we know what we're doing. Now we know what we're doing. We can just go in there and do it. Yeah. I thought it was great. It was. It was really fun. Climbing wise. I have a severe advantage over Sarah because of my my height, Wings my length, my length. But we had fun. Yeah, I my I was also very sore, very very sore. Yeah, Sarah was also very sore going into it. So. So. The expectations were already low. I think we'll definitely do it again. Holy shit! Most likely soon. I know these people act like I'm going so slow. Because I'm like, like 95. Uh, 